guys, episode 15 of my Week in Review. It's basically just a, a little game diary that I do uh, to keep track of all the games and stuff I did over the year. It's a, just a little bit of interest sake for myself and maybe for you guys watching this. So, let's get straight into the games. Um, we started off with uh, my friends Michael and John coming around and we played a three-way game of 40k from Games Workshop. Warhammer 40k. Um, this was a special scenario that Mike um, designed. Uh, he has his own YouTube channel which is called Team Clueless 40k which is specializes obviously in 40k games and maybe one or, one or two other games. Um, but uh, we wanted just to have a, a little bit of a throwdown so we had a little interesting scenario with loads of cool scenery and stuff. It was great fun. I got absolutely smashed and I put that video up on my Battle Knights channel if you're interested in checking it out. Um, so once that was done, later on towards the evening, uh, Martin and um, Alan and Molo came around and uh, we started off the evening with a light game of Thieves Market. This has just arrived from Kickstarter, from Tasty Minstrel Games. Uh, it's kind of got a similar mechanic to Mammut from Queen Games, uh, but actually still pretty fun. Uh, I actually really enjoyed it. I won by a large margin, if I remember, recall correctly. Um, but it's, it's one of those nice, fun, easy light games that you play sort of the beginning or end of a game session. So I definitely enjoyed that and I'm looking forward to getting another game of that in. Uh, after that, we played Scythe from Stonemaier Games. This was my first play and we recorded this and put it up on the Gaming Nights channel. Um, it, this was really interesting actually. Um, obviously Scythe has generated a lot of hype and a lot of buzz. Um, and I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really good. Um, not brilliant. Um, I didn't think it was like, holy crap, this is the greatest game ever. But I did enjoy it. I thought it was really solid. I liked some of the mechanics. Some of them I thought were, eh, it seems a bit odd. But, you know, overall, the, the general experience that I had of playing that was really good. And I'm definitely looking forward to playing that again. Um, soon after that, once we had finished, because actually Scythe's not a really long game, um, we played Islebound again. Now I mentioned this in my last um, game night or game week re week in review, um, but this one we we played again and recorded this one as well. And still, my my first impressions didn't change much. Um, beautiful looking game, you know, lots of stuff going on, but not a lot to do. Um, I just found it very very generic and not very interesting. I mean, the workers don't really do much. The you know the general direction of the game is very low very light game um so yeah I, I i'd probably pass on this i might try it one more time just to try a different uh, tactic out and strategy out and see what i think but overall my my general feeling of islebound is that it's meh it's okay um so that was the games we played that night then uh, um, on the sunday which was a beautiful sunday afternoon we had some friends come around rebecca and d uh we played a game of hook with them and my kids, and <laughs> it was actually good fun. I mentioned this in the last review as well. It's just, it's just a fun, light, interesting game, and, and uh, both of them really enjoyed it as well. Um, it's, it's just fun. That's <laughs> all I could say about it. It's, there's not a lot to it. It's just the interaction you have with the other players that makes it more interesting, um, and just having a little bit of laugh. After that, we had to stop and obviously enjoy the sun. Uh, had a barbecue. Uh, after our meal, we got back to some more games um, with the boys as well. Um, we played Dixit. Now I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Dixit. I played it once or twice before. I thought it was you know very average. I didn't really enjoy it that much. You know I never say no to to real options if people want to play games. So uh, D uh, wanted to try it, especially with my boys, because um, he thought they might like it. Uh, we gave it a go. We had one of the expansions with it. And uh, I must admit, because of the nature of playing with my friends and, and my boys, um, I enjoyed it more than I would have than I did before. Uh, still not, I still don't think it's a great game. You know, like uh, before, I would have rated it say a four point five or a five. Now it's gone up to maybe a six, six point five um, out of ten because the nature of playing. My, both my boys really enjoyed it, and they got really, really got into it, and that made it more enjoyable for me. But other than that, I still think. The basics of the game is just meh. But, like I said, you know, I always I always believe that um, the people you play with can generate more interest in a game, even if it's a rubbish game. 
Um, but that was enough for my boys. <laughs> At that point, they went to go do something else. Um, so the four of us played Imhotep. It was first play for me. Um, I think it's my Cosmos. Uh, and this was quite interesting. It was different to what I was expecting it to be, but also the same, if you know what I mean. It's like, um, it was... I don't know what how to, to say in terms of what I thought of the game, because it was one of those games where like, ah, oh, that was alright. But it's not one of those games I rush out and go buy or anything like that. But definitely enjoyed playing, if that makes any sense. Uh, then after that, the week after that, I got really busy with uh, my painting and stuff, and uh, didn't have a lot of time for gaming. But I did try and squeeze in a few games every now and then. Uh, my boys wanted to play Rampage. So we, because they're on holiday, obviously, so they have a lot of free time at the moment. So every now and then they get me off my painting desk to do some gaming, and uh, we played Rampage, which is is a lot of fun. Rampage, especially with the kids, because they obviously love it. But man, oh man, is it hard work when with them trying to blow things over and smash the buildings down. Is I think almost is a lot more work going into for the parents than there is actual game play time. Uh, but nonetheless, I enjoyed it. Uh, and then me and Carla had a game of Runebound 3rd Edition. Now, Runebound, I'm really loving the Runebound 3rd Edition at the moment. We've got none of the expansions, we're still just playing the base game. Um, we, you know, we played the Dragon Scenario again. And uh, had a really good time. Um, trying out all the different characters and seeing how much replayability is in just the, the basic scenarios. Which I think is pretty good actually. Um, and, and as a two player game it goes pretty quickly so I'm really enjoying this. Probably one of my games of the year. Um, a couple of days later, we played some more games. Uh, me and Carla tried out a new game I acquired called Dice City from Autopia Games, and it was <laughs> I played uh, Dice City obviously before. I did demos for it last year, Dragon Dragon Meat. Um, so, but I thought Carla would like it because she does like that sort of worker placement, not worker placement, but like city building, um, engine building, that sort of thing. Um, so we played that. And Mina had a good time, um, she absolutely smashed me, but she enjoyed it that much that she wanted to play it immediately again and she wanted to include the boys. So we got them down, uh, obviously a four player game takes a lot longer to play, but they enjoyed it as much. And uh, so that was definitely a hit and we're definitely going to be playing that again in the future with them and with others. After that we played Imperial Settlers, keeping with the, the whole you know, settling city theme. Uh, I was the Egyptians, Carla played the Barbarians, um, it was actually super quick game, uh, I absolutely smashed her, um, but I think she was, uh, she likes Imperial Settlers, but she wasn't very impressed by playing the Barbarians, she doesn't really like the, when she's building a, like a resource building game, that type of thing, she's not really into having to attack all the time unless it's a massive benefit to her. Um, and in this particular case, I wasn't attacking her at all as the Egyptians, I was just building a point engine and she didn't really want to um, go down that route, but the card she drew just gave her no options really. So, but still, uh, we both enjoy Imperial Settlers and maybe looking to get a couple more expansions for that. So that's pretty much all the games I played over the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's not as many as I normally play, uh, mainly due to the fact that I said I was quite busy with painting commissions and things like that. So talking about painting commissions, I don't actually have a lot to show you, which is really weird considering I just mentioned um, how busy I was. Um, actually, before I go on to that, uh, I'll talk about uh, what was my game of the week. Um, I think Runeman obviously is easy, easy pick for me as game of the week because I'm really enjoying Runeman so much. Uh, so yeah, I'll go with Runeman. Right, so onto my painting stuff. Um, the only thing I'm going to show you is the pit, or one thing I painted was the Serpent Men of Juggerondo from Shadows of Brimstone. Uh, I've got other stuff that I've painted, but I can't put them up yet because uh, they'll be going on uh, Kickstarters and stuff like that soon. Um, but I thought I'd show you some of the other Shadows of Brimstone stuff I've painted over the last while. Uh, you got like the slugs, the hounds, the zombies, things like that. Um, these are none of these are mine. Uh, which is really gutting because I've got a, a massive uh, Shadows of Brimstone collection and I really want to get to painting there. But I, I've been painting other people's stuff over my own. Uh, so, yes, I, I it makes me sad every time I look at my piles of grey miniatures. So, that's all I'm going to show you for my painting stuff. Uh, in the next uh, week in review, we'll have more um, of the stuff I've been working on. Uh, so, keep a lookout for that. 
And then for my thought of the week, um, I don't have a really a lot to, talk, uh, to mention on my thought of the week, but something I have been playing quite a bit of recently, especially now that it's got a new expansion, is Hearthstone from, uh, I don't know who actually makes it, but Blizzard. Blizzard. Um, it's a free-to-play game online. You can uh, download it on your phone or on your apps. I play it on the computer. I like do I like playing it generally just you know in between taking a break from painting or having a cup of coffee or something like that. Um, it's really good fun. I really enjoy it a lot. You know, it gives you that that um, that that Magic the Gathering itch, but it's free to play, and you can start off with a couple of basic decks, and then you can complete some quests to gain some gold to buy some more packs and things like that. So it's cost me absolutely no money whatsoever, other than the money I generate from playing the game, and. I have a great time with it. It's really good. The new expansion, Karazhan, is out. Uh, it's like a solo playing, um, single player missions. Uh, and it's fantastic. I can't rate it highly enough. Uh, I've got my whole family into it as well. Like Carla and Alex both play it on their respective um, iPads and phones and things. And we can play against each other as well. So go check it out. I think it's worth it. And uh, comment below on any of the things that you guys play that's similar to this. Maybe on. Uh, I know a lot of people play a lot of board games online and stuff like that. Uh, there's a few other games coming out like this, I think, that are very similar to this IP. So, yeah. Anyway, that's me done for this week in review. I'm going to go, you know, do some more painting and play some more games. And I'll speak to you guys in a couple of weeks. Thanks for listening.